Hey guys, today I want to show you how to create a fake 3D Chinese lantern using After Effects. Recently I posted this dribble shot and in this tutorial we are gonna recreate this constant rotation. Let's dive into the process. You can find the project file in the description and download it for free. Switch handle to 3D, then go to Composition, Composition Settings and in the third tab choose Cinema 4D Renderer. Select handle again, press Y and move the anchor point down. Thus, we will rotate this exactly from this point. Press R and set a keyframe next to Y rotation on the first frame and on the very last frame. Here, change the first number to 1 to turn the handle. Unfold the geometry options and set the extrusion depth to about 8. Now the handle is extruded. Switch this layer off. Select Cylinder Shadow, find Path property, set a keyframe here and holding Shift, move this item to the right like this. Go to the end of the timeline, set a keyframe and move it to the opposite side. Then go to 8 frames forward and hit Ctrl or Command Shift D to split the layer. Drag the upper one to the left and lower to the right. Well done! Let's animate the horizontal lines. Pay your attention to the set matte effect, which I used in order to make borders for the layer. Press U to open the keyframes. In the middle of our timeline, set a keyframe and move the layer down and additionally select the middle point and adjust it individually. Copy the first keyframe and paste it to the very end. Select all of them and hit F9 to make the animation a bit smoother. Link the hieroglyph to the circle layer. Select them both and hit Ctrl or Command Shift C to precompose them. Let's type label here. In the effects and presets panel, type CC cylinder and apply to the new layer. Let's adjust this effect. Change render to outside. In the shading tab, set ambient to 100, diffuse to 0, specular to 100 and roughness to 0. Set keyframes for radius, position X, rotation Y and select the layer, then hit S to open the scale property and disable the proportions chain. As the label stretched out a little bit, we change its scale to 93, drag the keyframes to the middle and create new ones at the first frame. Adjust rotation Y and position X. Use Ctrl or Command plus up arrow to increase this property, let's say step by step. The label seems to be flattened here, so we have to change its scale to 100. You should also check there are no gaps between label and body, otherwise repeat after me and animate position X. Great! Go to the end of the timeline, set keyframes next to the animated properties and adjust them. I found out that the best radius in this case is 120. Press U to hide the keyframes and split the layer in the middle using Ctrl or Command Shift D. Drag the upper one to the left and the lower to the right. That looks fine. The last thing we want to animate is the vertical lines. Select vertical line 1, set a keyframe next to path. Then go 6 frames forward and holding Shift move it to the left. Then animate path of vertical line 2. In this case, we need not only to move it to the left, but also to adjust its curvature. To do that, 
we use pen tool. Hold Alt or Option on Mac and adjust it like this. Don't forget to check it out and add some keyframes to enhance the animation. Press Ctrl or Command D to duplicate vertical line 2. Delete these keyframes and drag the layer to about a second. Then animate it like we've just done. Keep the distance between vertical lines permanent. Now we have to take the final part to the beginning to create a nice loop animation. Select vertical line 1 and 2, duplicate them and hit Ctrl Alt Up Arrow to move them to the top. Delete these keyframes. Drag them to the right, increase their duration. These keyframes should be at the very end. Now switch vertical line 5 off and make the path of vertical line 4. I'll speed it up as the process is the same as we've already gone through. After that, the only thing we have to do is to animate vertical line 5. By the way, to cut the layer, I hit Alt or Option on Mac plus left or right square bracket. Here is the result we finally got. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe my channel and follow me on Instagram, there will be a lot of interesting stuff about animation. See you in the next video!